Hello everyone and welcome back to Queen Beans Collectibles. As you can see, we got our hands on a whole bunch of the new Miniverse Make It Mini Birthday. These are exclusive to Walmart. They are $9.99 each and I found mine in one of those big displays in the middle of the toy aisle. There were also the Harry Potter minis in there as well as the, I believe it's called the Lifestyle Series where we did the molded ones like the teapots. Um, so I'm really, really excited to open these up. I am not happy that there are no pinholes. I did try to use everyone's hack, but what the Walmart I found them at did not have a great scale. So I was kind of winging it. Um, so we might not end up with some doubles. It is what it is. Not like we haven't done that before. Um, and I did end up get a, getting a box as well. So hopefully if we're missing any, maybe they'll be in the front of the box. So as we always do on this channel, we are going to just open all these up first, see what we got, and then build away. I have not watched anybody else's videos, so I do not know what to expect, but I am extremely excited. So, I love the new stickers on everything, too. That's making me laugh. I don't know why they're putting that on literally everything. Like, we know it's new, y'all. We've been waiting. Duh. But I am super excited. This series looks really cute from all the pictures that I have seen, which have not been too terribly many, but still, nonetheless, super cute, super excited. All right, so what do we have first? Now, are the tables going to match each thing? Because I'm going to live for this. Because we have a pink and yellow table for starters. Oh, I love this table. Oh, the white tables can go. I, I This is all I need now. Just these. So cute. Oh, okay. And then let's even take a gander at our collector's guide. Because in all honesty, I have not looked at it. Oh, it's a pretty small one, right? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve to collect. Four in each option. Okay, it looks like you get one of each in the front of the box, so that's cool. And we'll have to see what we get. It looks like we've gotten something from the tropical one based off of the table and such. That's my assumption. Um, but obviously we are going to find out. All right, so I think, okay, we have coasters, we have ice. So to me, it seems like we're gonna get some kind of drink. Definitely, because we have some fruit. We have, whoop, a big old bottle of resin. Was there a nozzle? Did I miss that? Okay, no nozzle. And these must be, oh, these are cute. These are cute cups. These will be really fun to make. Uh, now I'm kind of hoping that we get a little bit from each one, because I don't want to be like, Having like one thing for the dinosaurs, one thing for like, you know, I want a little bit of each one. I'm greedy and greedy like that. Okay, so this is cute. I'm very happy with this first one. Um, what else comes with it? Okay, we got some straws, bright yellow straws, very cute. And these also come with the usual topper and tweezers. So nothing out of the ordinary there. Okay guys, I'm excited. Are we gonna be in Duplicate City? I certainly hope not. If not, or if we are, not the end of the world because our giveaway is being announced, giveaway winners are being announced on the next video. So this is your last chance to submit your name into our newest giveaway raffle. On the next video, we will be announcing our winners and you can comment on either this video, my last one or the one before. And then we will pick five winners uh, you do not have to be in the U.S. You can be international. And then I will just ask for your shipping information and I'll send you your goodies for free. So if you are interested, please don't forget to comment on one of the three videos and subscribe. That's all you need to do. And we will send you some freebies if you are one of the winners. Uh, and if you've won in the past, you can win again. Don't feel like you can't put your name in the ring. There is nothing wrong with that. We've actually had a couple winners who have won twice. So don't feel like you can't. All right, I, I feel optimistic because there's a different color, which means no double. However, that means we have a different um, theme, which again is fine. It's a very cute table. I'm loving these. I, I just I love them. We have streamers. Very pretty. We have a whole bunch of stuff that kind of came flying out. So let's see. We have, ooh, a really pretty cake stand of iridescent we have 
Oh, a giant cake. Oh, and I almost missed a little coaster that goes along with it. A really big old rainbow cake. That is a heavy cake. We have... Oh, the little rainbow rings that go on the cake. Very cute. Glad they do the rings. I could not imagine trying to place those myself. I think I'd lose my mind. And this little tissue, we have one of those little party um, cake toppers that say yay. I'm assuming this big guy is probably the resin. And it is a lemon. Very cute. And we have our usual collector's guides. And then I'm assuming probably like a spatula for the cake. And the right is rain, and it is a pink spatula, in case you are curious. And again, same topper. Really love that they're changing up the tables, though. That is so fun. I was so sick of all these white tables. So boring. All right, guys. Capsule number three. Let's stay away from Duplicate City, shall we? A girl can dream. All right. I don't know, I'm really excited about this series. I think this is a really good one for them. I think this is a really cute idea. And I could see it, um, you know, going on to different series. There's so many different ways you could take birthday, you know? I mean, so many different ideas. Okay, immediate fear. Immediate fear that this looks just like the one we just opened. Oh no, I think it is, because I'm pretty sure I even see like the frosting and all the, okay. Well, and why not knock down the other one in the process? I'm gonna take a quick peek, and if it's the same, we're just gonna leave it wrapped up for one of you guys, and it sure is. So we're just gonna close that one up. Come on. And we're just gonna let one of you guys have this rainbow cake. So let's put that one to the side. We knew doubles were possible, but really not thrilled that it's the third one, haha. -ha. Okay, here we go. I meant it when I said the scale I found was not very helpful, so. I really hope we are just not in duplicate city this whole time. I'll be very sad. <gasps> that looks like a different one. Oh, okay, it's a yellow bottom. So we just have to hope it's not the drinks. It's gotta be anything besides the drinks. All right, so let me just scooch these over now that I've done knocking everything down. Here we are. It does look like it is something different, which is so exciting. So let's get our table put together. I really do love this table so much. I think it is so cute. If it will go together, that would be great. Okay, we have gummies. Oh, wrappers for gummies, okay. Here are the little fruit snacks. Those are very cute little mold, love that. Here we have sanding sugar. I guess, oh, you probably put that on top of the gummies if you want sour or something, would be my assumption. We've got, uh, these look like favor bags. Looks like there's four of them. We have pinata tissue. Oh, wow, we make the pinata ourselves. I have no faith in myself on that one, but we're gonna try, we're gonna try. Okay, and here we have tweezers, a spatula, and a different pink, which is pretty cool. All right, same topper as before. We have, oh, thank goodness, I was so worried. I'm like, how am I supposed to make a pinata? Okay, <laughs> oh, I always get nervous. Oh, and this must like slide or something for you to put the treats in and out of. I'm sure there's instructions. We will read those before proceeding. And this must be for, woo, for the jelly or jelly gummies. Two different resins. Each do come with a nozzle. We have food dye and we have gummy syrup. So that should be fun. That'll be a good little experiment. I'm looking forward to figuring out how to build that pinata. All right, we're doing good, we're doing good. Let's move to capsule. What is this? One, two, three, four, five. Here we go. Right. <gasps> new one because you see a different color table how exciting absolutely love that 
love the color of this table as well it actually reminds me of my room when i was a kid my room when i was a kid was this blue and this green everything in my room was this blue and this green that is so funny i'm gonna have to text my mom she get a kick out of that from way back in the day okay so we have what i'm assuming is some sort of resin and a nozzle we have a glaze with a nozzle we have uh, some sort of tray i don't know if that's supposed to be there or if maybe it got separated from something i do not know we have deco dust okay oh i bet we got the cookies we have ah yes we have our dinosaur we're gonna put the cookies in we have our giant sugar cookies my goodness those are huge we have our cookie stencil i was wondering how we were going to use that deco dust that makes a lot of sense now that'll be cool and then at the way bottom oh i love the plates those are so cute oh i love that that is adorable so what did this go to huh if you open this and you know what this goes to let me know i have no idea i hope i don't need it or that something else in there isn't required because i don't have it all right we're still doing pretty good let's see what's next on the docket one two three four five six is where we're at now all right Here we go. All right, we have one of the dinosaur ones. Let's hope it is not a dupe. All right, it is absolutely a dupe. All I did was move the table and bam, there it is. So that is gonna be another one that goes to the side for one of you lucky winners. We're just gonna close that one up and put it to the side. Capsule number seven. Um, or if you're out there, by the way, and you're also struggling and you have ones I don't have and you want to trade, my email's in my channel description. You are welcome to reach out to me. I've traded with people in the past. Happy to do it again. If you're like, oh my goodness, I want more of those dino tacos, right? Or dino tacos. Dino cookies and I can't find them. Let me know. Let's do a trade. Or if you're like, I can't find any of the ones you want, but you have the one I want. Let me know. We'll make it work. All right, come on, no doubles, no whammy. Here we go. All right, so we have one of the tropical ones, which already makes me nervous um, because we have two of that series already. And I can immediately tell just by moving stuff that this is a dupe. So we are again going to take this and put it to the side. Okay, our last and final one. I really hope blesses us. Um, otherwise, it appears I'll be heading back to a Walmart. Shockingly, to get more of these. Ha ha. Plus, I want to grab the multi-pack anyways, so. Okay, did that not work? Come on. There we go. Oh, no. Is this another dupe? It is. Okay guys, well that is extremely unfortunate and I am very sorry, that is a lot of dupes. Um, but we are gonna at least build the ones that we did get, um, which is one, two, three, God, that's half duplicates. All right, well, you know what? So many of you tell me, just do it, Nicole. Just take your scale, go to the store, just try it. And you know what? I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna listen to you, I'm gonna listen to all of you and I'm gonna do it. And we're going to find the rest of these that we're missing because that is disappointing. Okay, let me reset and we will build the ones we found and I will be right back. Okie dokie, guys. Up first, we are going to do one of the ones I think is going to be a little bit easier, which is going to be the tropical drink. Um, this one is pretty straightforward. I do really, really, really like it, though. The cups are so pretty. They match the table so nice. And I love when they actually give us fruit that is pre-sliced so that you don't have to try to cut it yourself because we all know that is next to near impossible. But I like that the pineapples match the straws. I think that's really cute. We're gonna add some ice. And then we'll probably add a few raspberries once we actually start to add the resin. 
you know, this makes me think it's probably a hot pool party, so we want to have lots of ice in there. Probably too much, but that's okay. I'm also throwing half of it all around the room anyway, so. Whoops, literally. Not my intention. Okay, a little too much in that one. That's a little kooky. You guys are all sitting there like, yeah, dude. That's a lot of ice. Okie dokie. I think I like it. And then we're going to use, what would I, would, I would call it, like pineapple berry watermelon juice. Something like that. Kind of hoping this is a runnier one because then it will go between the ice. And then once I throw the raspberries in, it will be hopefully uh, fairly simple. But let's give it a go, shall we? I tend to like the bottles like this because they're easier to squeeze. It seems like the bottom part is a little more pliable. And it doesn't make it so hard to get the resin out. Alright, so we'll let that one start to simmer in through the, or get in between the ice there. And we'll start our next one. Now my fear is that there's not enough resin for the both of these, which is also why I added a lot of ice, because that will help us uh, fill up the cups a little bit more. So we're looking good so far, and you can tell I'm squishing this resin, like I'm getting it all out of there as much as I can, as fast as I can. Um, but I can tell it's already running out, which is not great. So I'm definitely going to have to go heat this up and try to get more out. Um, and we'll be right back. Okay, can't even lie to y'all. I ran out of resin and I was pulling on this thing for all I was worth. And that is after I used all the ice in there. I had to end up using some of the Hershey syrup from the Hershey's multi-pack. But this is where we're at now. And I'm hoping if I just toss in a few raspberries that it will give it the last little bit it needs to be full and plus I thought it'd look cool if there were a couple just kind of sitting at the top well I didn't mean to put two next to each other but hey it is what it is I don't know I think that looks really cute doesn't it I hope Ooh. I hope it's cute but yeah I'm pretty happy with this one so we are gonna get this little lady cured and we will be right back with the next one. Okay guys, up next are the dino cookies. These do not look too terribly complicated. However, I will say, I don't know if the instructions are very clear or maybe I'm misinterpreting them. I think you would put the frosting on first, let it cure, put it on a smidge more and then do the stencil. Cause otherwise the cookies aren't gonna look like they're frosted, I think. But then how do you, I don't know, this is going to be experimental, so I don't know how these are going to come out, but we're going to try. And I think we're going to be smart and we're just going to put a dollop of frosting on each one. And I am just going to spread it with a toothpick. We're going to see where that takes us. Oh no, I hit a lot. Oops. Alright, grab a toothpick. And here we go. So I'm going to attempt to make it even. Ooh. Okay, use the other end of the toothpick to save the day. Hey, this is not going as bad as I thought it would, especially since this is a runnier resin, in my opinion, with these new series. But honestly, we're making it work going good so far. I think I'm liking it. And I think we're just going to have to cure them a lot and then stencil and then resin and then dust, I think. Deco dust. Um, if you've already made these and you have a better way, please let us all know in the comments. Y'all always have the best ideas in the comments. I love y'all so much for that. Like, y'all crack me up when you're like, use the scales at the store, dummy. I'm like, oh my god, duh. I mean, I wish the scales at my store were better, but that's a genius idea. Like, OMG. I don't know, I'm just happy my neighbors is back. Maybe that's why I needed my mental health break, because I was waiting for these to come back to the shelves. And they're back. 
and more adorable than ever, I think. I'm interested as to why this is a Walmart exclusive, although I suppose it's the same way. Although, no, that's not the case because Target always seems to get the holiday ones first, like Christmas, Easter, Halloween. But doesn't Walmart eventually get them? Just not like as fast as Target, I feel like. I could be totally misremembering this, guys. Don't, don't quote me, please. Because <laughs> I'll be wrong. Yeah, I think you guys are coming out pretty cute so far. And even if I'm not following the instructions verbatim, I, I think I'm getting the gist of what I need to do here. I hope. I hope, I hope, I hope. Because I never used the deco dust with the teapots because I just didn't want to and I was worried it would make it ugly. And since they only give you one handle and one spout and they don't give you a mold for those, I didn't want to risk it. And ruin it, but I'm excited to try this little deco dust. It'll be fun. Oh, stop it. Rogue cookie. Okay, so I will get these hardened up and then we will be right back to try out the stencils. All right, guys, those cookies are taking forever to cure. So we are just gonna move on to the rainbow cake. Now, I feel as though I have learned my lesson too many times and I am going to put the little um, sign on right off the bat. Uh, because once the resin is on there, it's really hard to see the little holes, and I tend to just make a big old mess, so let's see if that doesn't save us some effort. Alright, that is what we have so far. We're doing pretty well. Alright, and then I want to have the icing rings ready as well. And then we have, I think this was, was it lemon? Yeah, lemon frosting. And then I want to see the picture. Is it all, like, did they actually frost the whole thing? Or did they just use it to put down the rings? Oh, they do it like it's an actual, like, frosting. Frosting, okay. Kind of wish it was white for that. But okay, we're going to go with what they gave us. I'm going to find another toothpick. All right. Now, I can't say I love these cakes because I tend to really struggle to make them. It doesn't usually go the way I want it to, um, but we're going to try. We're going to try. Just no, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? No. No promises. Oh, gravy. Can't think at all today. Ooh, this is sticky. Okay, that frosting is strange. Interesting color. All right. Maybe if I mix it up first. I don't think that really helped. All right, so we're gonna try and copy what they did. And I don't know how this is gonna go, but we're gonna try. Ooh, I don't love it, I don't love it, I don't love it. I don't know. How did they make it look so like yellow and goopy? Don't think I love the way this is going out. Oh no. I don't like it. Ugh. That doesn't look good. It looks bad. Okay. I need to think of a plan B. What is my plan B? I don't have one. I don't have one. Yeah, I just really think this is not cute. I don't. Why would they give you yellow? All right, I'm gonna brainstorm and be right back. Okay, we are not gonna talk about how bad that cake just went cause it went really bad. And now I'm really bummed because I'm looking at the box and I'm realizing that they hot glued it. So I will not be getting um, an extra cake out of that, which is a bummer. I agree with the rest of you guys who have been saying, like, why are you bothering to hot glue these in there if you're going to put them in there and throw them away anyways? I agree. Now I'm picking up boxes for no reason. So these little stencils are pretty cool. They're like little decals. And so now I see why they gave you so many because you kind of do want to do them per cookie. And then all you have to do is just add a wee bit of frosting. And then we're going to add our... 
speckle dust. You do end up with extra stencils as well, which is cool. So you could always save those in case you want to make, I don't know, maybe a dinosaur or a cupcake or something. These are really cute. And I'm just hoping that when I go to cure this, etc. Or uh, you gotta take these off before you cure it, I bet, because otherwise these would just get stuck. This will be fun. Okay. So I think I need to get smart again with a toothpick. And we're just gonna put the lightest amount we can all over these cookies. Gonna get rid of the nozzle real quick. All right. Again, hoping that I'm not gonna come to regret my decision here. All right, so I'm just gonna take a little bit for starters. And we're gonna come in a bit here. And we're just gonna tap, 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 tap. Tap, 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 tap. Just a light layer, tap, 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 tap. Until it's completely full for the footprint. And then we're gonna do the same thing in these other ones. And then we're just gonna hope that when I go to pull these off after we've done our um, deco dust that there are no issues. I do like that they gave us sticky tabs, however, the sticky tabs keep getting stuck to the other cookies, which is a little bit problematic. Okay, hopefully that didn't mess that one up. I don't know for sure. Hopefully it looks good enough and you'll know it's still like a dino foot, hopefully. But again, I'm just happy with the new series. I'm happy that they're trying something different for us. I am still very unhappy about the way they're doing those display cases, so that's absolute nonsense. Like seriously, what, why, why? At least like some of us were rescuing the stuff from there and like reusing it and making other stuff. The, literally, there's so much hot glue in this box, it's all ruined. Like I can't get the mold out, I can't get the pinata out, can't get the serving tray out, like all of it is like glued. And it just seems like one, a waste of glue. And two, a waste of your product. That's just silly. I don't know. I'm sure a lot of you guys are bummed about it too. I hope they change it. Because I love me some miniverse. I heard they were looking for influencers, so I reached out. And did they answer? Nope. But that's okay. We're going to keep on dreaming. That one has way too much on it. That's going to end up being regrettable. Oh, well. Oh, no. This one's sticker didn't stick. All right, we're just gonna have to hope for the best on that one. Oopsie. Now, I have no idea how this is about to go. And I swear, if one more of these stickers gets stuck to the other stickers, I'm gonna lose my mind. Because that is exactly what is happening here. Okay, before it gets any messier and I make a bigger issue, out of these little friends. Let's get this deco dust going. This is what it looks like. Whoa, that is sparkly. Holy moly. Okay. It come out really fast. Whoa! Okay, it comes out really fast. Oops. Wow, this is hard to do. It's just really messy. I mean, it's beautiful. It's messy though. I don't understand how you're supposed to be able to do this and make it not ugly. But okay, I'm gonna shuffle these around a little bit, hit them with the UV, and then we'll be right back. Okay guys, while the cookies are curing, we are gonna work on our last one. And I will note that I love, 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 love the idea of these stencils but I will forewarn you that you are going to want to make extra certain that those stencils are flat because if they aren't, you get some very interesting shapes. And by the way, that sparkly stuff goes uh, everywhere. I'm still happy nonetheless. I know they didn't come out great. I think it's actually one of the doubles I got, so maybe I'll give that one a second shot. Um, but pretty excited nonetheless, just really, really blue and glittery right now. 
So let's get into our little pinata first. Uh, not that I know how. Usually don't they have like a little thing? Why can't I get this open? Like what? Oh, okay. I'm just gonna cheat the system then. I don't know why it's doing that. So let's just get it out. Oh, that's a lot of pieces. I'm stuck. Hopefully that's the gist of it. Everything looks like a sticker, which is good. Shouldn't be too crazy to put this together. Oh, there's glitter everywhere, guys. Glitter everywhere. Okay, let's put together our pinata. I think this is also very cute. I like that the pinata opens. I think it's very sweet. However, I don't like that it's really hard to get that sticker off of there. All right, here we go, in the hopes that I line this up somewhat accurately. Dream big, am I right? All right, so far so good. Well, let's do the other side. I see the fruit snacks, are those supposed to go in the pinata. Oh, that's probably why they have wrappers. Hmm. Oh no, I'm not very good with wrappers, guys. This is, uh, that concerns me. Ooh, they almost just ripped that in half. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, when you decide where you want it, make sure you really decided because uh, yeah, the sticker becomes very uncooperative if you move it around 50 times. Not that I blame it, not that I blame it. User error on my part. Okay, got this part down. Now, these probably go like this, I would assume. So let's get that one going. And then as always on this channel, I will show everything up close at the end. Although I will say this is definitely not one of my best videos between duplicates and uh, Making messes, etc. Yeah, not one of my best ones. But I will say I'm enjoying the series a lot nonetheless. Um, I think it's really fun. I am not happy that there are not any pinholes. That makes me quite sad. Um, but again, I'm, I'm going to take everyone's advice. I'm just going to go cray cray and take my scale to the store and hope to the best that nobody stops me. Because that is the thing that drives me nuts. It's not like it's illegal. You're just weighing them, not opening them. But I know, I know. It doesn't look good. Okay, this pinata is coming along. I thought this was going to actually be a lot harder to make, but I am pleasantly surprised so far that it has not been too crazy. The only thing I can complain about is it's hard to get these peeled, but I mean, if that's the worst thing, then I think I'll be okay. Come on. All right. Very cute that they even built this around the handle for the pinata. I like that a lot. And I like that they didn't just give you, you know, the front and the back. They made sure you got also the sides. I kind of want to fluff some of these up a little so it looks more pinata-y. Hopefully I'm not doing too much damage here. No, oh, why won't they all go fippy fippy? Here we go. I think it looks more real that way, you know? Oh yeah, that's that's looking way more real. Okay, cool. So good to know. You just take your nail or something like that and just gently, because you don't want to tear it. You just gently flick them forward. Same with these. Again, it doesn't have to be the whole thing either, just a little bit, because I think it looks so cute. So much more real, you know? So cute! Love that. Perfect. Really cute. Okay, now let's add some watermelon seeds. Oh wait, watermelon goes this way. 
Oh, I love this. This is so cute. I can't just, I, I literally can't wait to see what they come up with next. These, these mini verse folks know what's up. They really know what's up, guys. I love these little tables. I love oh, the series in general. Well, this side might only have four seeds. Because I'm quickly running out of room for a fifth. But I think that will be okay. I don't think that is the end of the world. Ah, these stickers are so little, it's so hard. Stop it, sticker. They sure are sticky too, which is nice. But not when you're trying to get it to stick to anything but you. No, it's not where I want it. Well, maybe we will fit a fifth one. This side's just going to be a little crooked. And there's nothing wrong with that, so don't you judge my pinata. Kidding. If I can get this one off and straighten it out, then we got it. Come on, little guy. Come on. Cooperate. Fine, don't. There. Good enough. Not perfect. Let's flip it over. And let's do the other side. Hopefully slightly better than the last one. Ha ha. These are very cute, but very hard to work with. But we're still gonna try. Like, why are they so sticky? I can't get them to stay off of my hand. Uh, I don't think I like that one. Because it folded in on itself. No! No, 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 no! Come on, there we go. Let's try it again. All right, much better, much better. We're making headway, making headway. Anyone have tricks for this? Was tweezers a better option perhaps than just going by hand? Love everyone's input as always, appreciate it. This side definitely seems like it's coming out better. Not perfect by any means, but better. So I think this is going to be our display side, that is for sure. And I appreciate that they're like including different stuff, you know, like doing the pinatas or doing all sorts of fun stuff. I don't like that there. Uh, nope, you're stuck. Okay, well, it was an attempt. Really wish I wouldn't have pushed on that sticker so hard. Oh well, it is what it is. It's still cute. Just keep it on an angle, no one will notice. Okay, so I am very happy with our pinata. I think that's very cute. Now, our gummies. I don't understand the gummies. Um, it's like you're supposed to put them in those little bags and then they would fall out of the pinata. Um, I just don't know if the wrappers are necessary. Oh, and I see why there's green dye. They're trying to say you can put like at the top and in the bottom. Oh boy, these are going to be a challenge. Okay. We're always up for a challenge though, right? Right. Gotta at least try. So let's do it. Kind of interesting that this one came with two resins. So you can do the green part of the fruit snack and the red part or pink, I guess. Okay. So we got our two nozzles ready to go. Let's get this open. Let's get this open. This one feels light, although I suppose you wouldn't need a heck of a lot of this uh food dye, is that what they called it? Ah! Get off of me, little lid. Okay. This one's so teeny tiny. Alright, and we will see how these end up coming out. So, it looked like you're supposed to do the green first. 
One, two, yeah, green first. Hopefully I'm right. If it's supposed to be another way and you guys are sitting there screaming, I apologize. I have no idea how you are supposed to get this into these little tiny spots. And nothing's coming out of here anyways. Literally nothing. Okay, I guess we're gonna grab a toothpick. Maybe that will help us control where we're gonna put stuff anyways. All right. Here we go, I'm gonna need a lot more than that. Very light green. I'm just gonna attempt to fill in the area where the cherry stem is. I don't know if it's going to look good, but I'm going to try. And I'm going to do the same thing to the other cherry. It might not be perfect, but at least it will be, you know, slightly two different colors. Yeah, I think the toothpick is a lot better than the nozzle, because then you can kind of make sure it's really down into that stem area. And then we're going to do the same thing. I think we're going to do strawberry first because that's going to be the easiest. We just need a little at the top. And then same with the other strawberry. A little at the top. Probably a little too much, but that's alright. And then we're going to do the bottom of the watermelon. I don't know how it's going to look, but we're going to try. Just at least one little line at the bottom. go and then we're gonna pour in the pink stuff as soon as we're done with this and we're gonna cure it and hope that we go fast enough that these don't all start uh, melding together hopefully I like that it's pretty sticky it's kind of going where I want it to go All right, I think I am happy. I hope. I think it's gonna stay in those crevices. And then we are now going to add the gummy. Whoa, and that gummy comes out fast. Uh, I don't know, it looks like it's mixing already. No, I don't want the colors to mix. No. Well, I guess we're going to find out once we harden these, aren't we? Got some air bubbles we need to get out of there real quick. Alright guys, uh, we gotta give it a shot, right? Let's see how they turn out. We'll be right back. Okay guys, here is the one of the first rounds I'm going to show you. The fruit snacks came out okay. I wouldn't say great. Um, the dye definitely isn't super uh, strong, so... For my own future reference, I'll definitely be using more of it because uh, that pink seems to like really dominate it, which is fine. Um, but the pinata came out really cute. I didn't want to try to wrap the gummies until uh, I find a better way to make them more like look more of what I want them to look like. Uh, but I'm still really happy with this one nonetheless. Here are the very cute tropical drinks. Oh, and a Titus hair. And then one last quick reminder, this is the last chance to uh, submit your name for the giveaway. Please don't forget to comment on this video or one of my last two to be entered. And we will announce the winners on our next video. I have very strong feelings about this cake. I do not like it. I'm not happy with how it came out at all. I experimented with many different things to try to get the yellow to look cuter. It just kept looking ugly. Um, so not super thrilled about this one. Kind of glad for a double so I can kind of give it another go. Um, but still pretty cute nonetheless. Oh, I said nonetheless again. What is with me in saying that, guys? I don't know what is with me in that. Um, but I really do like this cake stand. I like how it sparkles. It's really, really pretty. I realize now that if I just take the tabletop off the table, it is much easier to show you the little displays I was making. So here are the dinosaur cookies. Again, you can tell that my stencils didn't stay where I wanted them to. 
Um, but honestly, this is a really fun one to do. I like it a lot. Um, and I think this is another one I have a double of, so not the end of the world. I, I get another chance to get it right. But seriously, loving this series. If you see it, I highly recommend picking it up. Just be careful of duplicates because it is fierce with this series. I am going to try and do a little Walmart hunting now myself to see if I can't get some more and that multi-pack for the birthday. Um, and again, don't forget, giveaway winners are announced on the next video. It's going to be super duper fun. Five winners, free goodies sent your way, international or U.S., does not matter. Just enter your name and hopefully you will be a winner. Thank you guys so, 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 so much for watching and bearing with me through Double City. I will see you all in the next one. Bye, guys.